What's your family name? Kering. 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 By the way, everyone says Nikita Kering. Yeah, it's Kering. Munga says. Nikita Kapeng Labda Nikita Kering. Hey! Nikita, it hurts to try and I don't know why. Does that sound familiar to you? Bruh. That's not what I say. Now I can't see I'm blind. Wait, what is that? That's, yeah. that's, that's not... <laughs> I told you, I don't really know these things. Like, I told you, you, I you write your song when though. I was 17. That's five years ago. Like Imagine having a friend who's like also like a singer. Um, Literally so cool. I, mean, I have a friend who's a singer. Wait, no, we are gonna do that again. <laughs> Whether you're in high school or whether you finished high school, and if you're going to high school, there's always going to be that one student who is always sick. Anakohoa, anaeka mkono nini, anaeka the head on the on the table. I've taken Celeste mine at lunchtime, bro. We don't care. We have notes to write. Amen. Amen. Thank you for coming to my town. Oh my gosh, Kui, why would you say that? I said what I said. I'm very unapologetic about it. And uh, yeah, Nirudia Tena. Again, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. But with that being said, my loves, welcome back to another episode of What Gen Z Want to Know right here on Control Z with the Gen Z General, Koi Gapuo, content creator, social media influencer, and your host for this amazing show. Will I keep telling you to hit the subscribe button over and over again? Guys, we are almost hitting thousands and thousands and thousands, hundreds of thousands on our social media platform. So please, gonga yo kitu. Auku gongwa jana, auku gongwa juzi, au jagongana anyway. So I think that's the best thing we should do. But with that being said, I will let her introduce, yeah, it's a her. I will let her introduce herself, tell us a little bit about who she is. And then we can, you know, get into a very, very interesting segment. So, Madam Kerry. Hi. Hi. Ah, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm fine. It is a pleasure to have you here. Thank like you. I wasn't just saying that for the camera. You genuinely, I saw you. I was like, when Wonder. I was doing my makeup, my eyes were. Nini. But we talk. Oh, yes, we do. But still, <laughs> but still, it's it's so amazing to have you here. Thank you. It's something I have manifested. And I'm like. I really want to host Nikita. Nothing I really want after. to host Nikita. Imagine you've spoken so many times, you never invited me. I forced my way here, you know. You didn't force your way, the door was wide open. I we were on the other side, we were like, come in, okay, come in, come in, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's what it was. So, for our audience out there, people who have maybe never seen you before, and if you haven't, you're living under a rock, you need to get out of that. Hi, Bugs Bunny! Anyway, Nikita, tell us a, a brief, you know, ca introduction, or rather a synopsis of who you are and what you do. I'm nice. <laughs> I am 22 mm -hmm. and I'm a singer and I'm a songwriter. I ain't tryna be okay. She's That's nice, she's 22, she's a singer and songwriter. Yeah. The only thing I'm not out of that is a singer and a songwriter. Are you not? You know you look like you could actually sing. For real? Can you sing? Yeah. Okay, I know everyone can sing. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, um, aside from being a singer and songwriter, mm -hmm. what else do you do outside of that? We've seen you busting moves, by the way. So you're also a dancer, you need to add no, that. No, please, I, I'm not, I don't call myself a dancer. I just like dancing. And just like everyone else, if you practice enough, you become a dancer. But no, I'm not going to say I'm a dancer. So um, will, you eventually, will you eventually refer to yourself I mean, as a dancer? You knowing how to cook doesn't make you a chef, you know? The, it, right? So yeah, mm -hmm. I guess I dance sometimes. Mm -hmm. I love cooking for my friends. But I do many things. I do hair, as you can see. This you did this? Yeah. Yourself? Yeah. I do a lot of, actually all my hair. Generally, I do my hair and my makeup. Yeah. I love it. I actually am also a barber. A barber? Fun fact. A barber? Yeah. A barber or a saloonist? No, I'm serious. Can, can you shuka hair? Yes, and I shave hair like a barber. You, really? I'm so serious. Nikita. You're gonna learn so. No, you need things. you need to do all this. You need to open a <laughs> you know the thing is carrying <laughs> hair and, and nails. You seem like such a nice person to you know spend time with and just be around. Like you have that aura of I want to work out with her. You, wow, you have that. That's scary. I don't really like people like that. Really? Like um, I have these three friends. 
and they're the only and if it's people not those I have. I don't hang out with anybody. Really? Mm. Promise. And they have other friends, and I'm so jealous. <laughs> Because they are the, your only friends, yeah. but they have other friends. Other friends. That's so work. Wow. So yeah. if you're not with those three friends, no, you're yeah. in the house. Can you imagine? Really? Yeah. Now let us, you know, talk a little bit more about you as a musician, as an artist. How did you dive, delve into the music industry? Because personally, I've seen a photo of you. You were so young, and you were in front of people, and you were singing. Yeah. So it's not something that happened very recently. It's something that has grown over time. But when did you realize that, hey, and maybe I can sing and I want to do this long term? Funny thing is that I don't ever remember like realizing I can sing. I just grew up singing. Like, really? I feel like just the same way you found yourself talking. Yeah, same it's the same. Thing. Yeah. Um, it's my mom who discovered my talent. And like she just make me sing everywhere we go. Were you ever um, shy? No, not those days. Those really? days I was the one who was like, let's go, let's go. I think I became shy over time. Mm, yeah. Okay. So then one day I was just singing in some function and then Emiko Ske was singing in the same function. Oh, that's And I was just like, uh-huh. yeah. Then I just like, I was like, can I come and sing with you? Really? So then after that, I just started singing with her like over and over and over again. Oh. She introduced me to like the music space, the industry space, like finally over time. Um, started doing studio sessions and everything. Yeah, just connections, connections. Mm. My mom was, was my manager at the time, and mm-hmm. she was very aggressive and super motivated. Mm. So she like exposed me to like the space. It was very safe for me because of her, so yeah. yeah. When do you remember, you know, starting the studio sessions, or rather how young were you when you started? 11, yeah. What? Mm. That's class six, five, six? Yeah. Wow. Then, over time, from like when now I was like 16, that's when it was like religious. Yeah. 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 How were your classmates, you know, reacting to, you know, Nikita is, you know, properly I mean, like you established? Would think that like that would have made me cool. Mm-hmm. But for some reason, like people didn't really care. Uh, I, really care. I feel like they look, he cared, they just didn't want to show. Yeah. Like, they didn't want to show. Because like, sh- you'll see how yeah, on TV yeah, as we see yeah, her. Yeah. In class. Every day. Yeah. It wasn't a big deal. In fact, that school that I was in at the time, they, they weren't very nice to me. Like, oh, the yeah. classmates or like the school itself? No, the, the, the classmates. Really? They didn't really like me. They didn't like me. But I don't know, maybe I was also not the best person that time. I don't know. No, I hope they're, they're choking or whatever it is they're eating right now. <laughs> Joshua, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> For real? Yeah, I know. But I mean, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. For real, but that's the crazy thing. Yeah. So they all follow me now. What? <laughs> What? Oh my God, this show is not gonna allow me to have any humility. <laughs> <laughs> no, if we have, you're here so that we can give you your flowers. Yeah. And you're here to receive them. No, I'm happy. I'm happy. Yeah. I don't have any bitterness towards like yeah. those people. Mm. It's, um, the it's also it was also the real kids. True. But I never forget. Yeah, yeah. you can forget. Oh my God, yeah. I remember. Like everything. I remember their names. I don't remember any other person name. I don't even remember my class teacher's name. But you remember, remember those names. names. Yeah, you who is out there, you're like, hey, it pro- it's probably me. It's definitely you. Yeah. It is. Yeah, but tell me if you want to care for you. Wait, I feel like I know what school this is. No, there's actually two schools. Two schools that I didn't have a very good... Then I moved from the school now to go to Brookhouse now. And then oh, I my the Brookhouse school experience. I was thinking of. No, no, no. Oh, in Brookhouse, surprisingly, I went... No, Brookhouse is the last one I uh-huh. went, and I had a really good time at Brookhouse, uh, surprisingly. Also, the fact that, you know, you come from a big family, you come from a family of five, I, what number are you out of five? Four. Oh, there's another one behind you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. is it a boy or a girl? He's so cute. He's oh, it's a he. It's a he, yeah. How old is he? Oh, 13. Oh, <laughs> when did you learn? He's just getting 14 this year. Oh, he's 13. turning 14 this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, 13. How, how is it being, I, I don't want to use star of the family, but being the... You know, that's the thing. It depends mm. on like who is gauging what success is. Because mm-hmm. for some people, success is fame. For some people, success is money. money. Some yeah. people, success is just personal content and with growth. your situation. Yeah, that's true. Um, well, me, I might be the one like in people's faces. But when I look at my siblings, I'm just like, oh my God, like these guys are going to be balling. Like, I'm just giving you four years. Yeah. And you guys are about to be millionaires, like going everywhere. Yeah. Funny thing. Mm-hmm. I am not as smart as my siblings. Like, my siblings are geniuses. Like, me, it's like God was just like, let me remove your brain. Yeah, and, and give like, you give time. You <laughs> <laughs> give you everything. Like, it has to be yeah. balanced. Yeah, but my really? siblings are so smart. My parents are so smart. I, I don't know what happened to me. 
Really? Yeah. Out of all the five of you, you drank yourself last? Yeah. I swear. Really? Yeah. Me and like my firstborn brother, yeah. I think we're like this. <laughs> 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 but he's, he's still like book smart more than mm-hmm. me. So mm-hmm. I think I'm last. Yeah. Shout out to Nikita's family. What's your family name? Kering. 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 Sh- by the way, everyone says Nikita Kering. Yeah, it's Kering. Munga said. Nikita Kapeng, Labda Nikita Kering. Hey! It's one of the very people who got the pronunciation right. Yeah. So it's Kering. No. It's Kering. Yes. Not Kering. No. Okay. Shout out to the Kering family. You guys have nicely. Oh, thank you. You guys have produced an amazing, amazing, amazing young lady. Now, Nikita, you're a forced to record in the Kenyan music industry. And I say that unapologetically. Oh, thank you. I do. What do you feel makes you different from other artists? I think strategy. Mm-hmm. Just a lot of thought that gets put into branding. Yeah. Now, do you understand why I'm calling you a force to record with? Thank you. Yeah. You, you get it now? I get it. You get it? Yeah. Now, to, uh, we've been a bit serious. I want us to dive into to jokes, jokes, kidogo. Now I want us to play a game. Well, nope. Let's see, let's see. No, I'm nope. not seeing the game. Trust what me, are, what can you trust seeing? me? I want to help seeing? you with something. What are you seeing? I promise. Mm. You can even cover it like both of them. Like just, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then? You look very hot. Ah! <laughs> I'm so serious. <laughs> yeah, are you I'm dying? sweating. Are you I'm, dying su- I'm sweating. I'm sweating. I mean, you're, you're here, so I mean, come on. Her. Come on. Yeah. What, what do you expect? <laughs> if I it were, guess the lyrics. So I have songs here so i'm going to say the first line of a song or rather a line songs of a song. that i would know these are songs you would definitely know song number one it has to try and i don't know why i dikita it has to try and i don't know why does that sound familiar to you bruh that's not what i say now i can't see i'm blind <laughs> that's, that's, that's not <laughs> I told you, I don't really know these things. Like, <laughs> like, I told you, you, you I wrote you that write your song songs, when no? I was 17. That's five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I go to a performance, uh-huh. I have to read my lyrics again. Really? I don't remember. When I tell you, I'm not the smartest But you write, you write your lyrics, yes? Of course, yes. Okay. I do, just to make it clear. I yeah. wrote them. I just but don't it, remember. It's understandable. Like, the artists, you ah, forget. Ah, it has uh-huh. to try. And I don't know why. Uh-huh. That's why my eyes. Now I can't run. I'm blind. Exactly. I get it. I get it. I don't know. <laughs> You've got it now. I get it. I got it. Okay. Uh, okay. Here I'm wish on Nikita Boye. Just try. Let's go. Here I'm wish on. Yeah. How am I supposed to tell you? It's like a question. Oh my. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. How am I supposed to tell you? I don't wanna see you with anyone. Yeah. Yes, but that's genuinely at the beginning. Yeah, but it it, it came mm. eventually. Yeah. Oh. You've collaborated with artists like Stana and Dovu. Cool. Ooh. So why is finding the right sound or right vibe important to you? Because at the end of the day, I need to like the song. So if I don't like the song, then I'm not going to release it. Mm-hmm. And for example, with even tonight, the song that just came out with Lil Mina, we've wanted to work with on a song for a very long time, mm-hmm. for like two years now. Oh, really? Yeah, but it was just about like, you know, we're not gonna force it just because we're two, you know, big artists, so yeah. can just, we just have to work together. But we have to find like the right song. Mm. So when the right song came, I just sent it right away because I liked it. So for me, it's super important for me to like it. Yeah. yeah. So, because I've seen artists out here who are like, no, I'm not confident in that song, or I feel like people wouldn't like it, but they put it out there and people receive it. Like they really, really love yeah. it. Do you feel like you'd ever take that leap of faith of I might not vibe with it, but yeah. maybe people will? Yeah. Well, I'm not an island, so I definitely take feedback from from people around me. Mm-hmm. Um, but it definitely has to come from more than one person. Because there are times, because uh-huh. I also work with my brother. That time, my brother is like, Yeah, hey, I love that. I love that. If it's just him, I'm not gonna put it out. <laughs> but like, if Hi, it's brother. like the whole team that is like put it out, I will. Mm-hmm. I will. Like, mm-hmm. it's, and one thing I find so interesting is that we as the receivers only get the end product we don't mm-hmm. know the kind of work and how long it has taken for you to you know perfect this as we see oh she's released a new music video three minutes 20 seconds 
that's all we know. Yeah. But it's probably taking so, so long. Yeah. Right? Really? Because I'm so in the process of everything. Like, there is nothing that I've ever released that was directed by someone else fully. Mm-hmm. When you become, I think, a commercial artist, it's like, okay, now you kind of have to go like in the direction of like the majority of your fans. Yeah. But like, I think I'm growing out of that. Mm. I'm kind of surrounding myself with people who are reminding me to just stay true to myself. Yeah. Hence even the song tonight coming out because that was a song like that came from the most authentic part of myself. Yeah. And like, it just feels original. That's why when people are like, oh, you know, it doesn't feel authentic. I'm like, what do you know? What, what do you know about know? authenticity? What do you know? Hmm. What do you know? <laughs> You've been trying to look like so and so since 1976. Mm, okay, I didn't personally say that, but... I did. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's very... To me, it's very authentic. Yeah. And I love R&B and pop. So mm-hmm. when I create a, a song like... I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. If this landed in a room right now and Jay-Z was sitting in that room, I will stand he on would, that song yeah. and I'll be like, yeah, yeah I, I did that. that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Joshua, good morning. <laughs> now, um... Can we talk a little bit about um, the beauty and the beast, you know, concept kind of thing? Yeah. And Who told you about that? Nikita, by the time you're getting here, the research has been done. So, is there anything that you can tell us? And the why reason I'm not talking beast? about it too much is because I, it's like still, I hate it when I talk about things that are still like cooking. Because mm-hmm. I know myself, it just might disappear somewhere. Really? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, the beauty and the beast concept was... Um, just me finally taking like a step forward and mm-hmm. collaborating with artists. So I was collaborating with like the beasts from the East and like the top male artists. And I've already done it and it's just content that's just waiting to come out. Thank you. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's basically it. I, I had never collaborated before until Coke Studio recently with Calligraph Jones. Hey! Um, yeah. That yeah. before with, with who? Well, well, guys, round of applause. That is not something we're gonna downplay, Nikita. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Coke so. Studio, Calligraph Joe's. Yeah. We give you your flowers for Thank that. You. Thank you. Yeah, we do. So I hadn't collaborated mm-hmm. before, mm-hmm. so I was finally confident enough to start collaborating because my creative process is so personal. Like, yeah. I hate it when there are ten people in the studio. <sighs> when, you know, like people used to call me for like this famous artist to call me for a studio session. They're like, come, come, come through, come through. I go there alone, and there's like a team of six people inside. There. I'm like, how do you how? expect me to start talking about my heartbreak in and front of all these people? people. Yeah. It's just too much. Yeah. Um, but then, like, I got over that stuff, and I started working with my friends. Started challenging my friends to write. Mm-hmm. Um, because songwriting is really easy. Um, is it? Except the melody part. Now that one I don't know. But like writing the lyrics, it's just about expressing your, your experiences. Yeah. So now when I start learning to work with people, I even realize it's okay. I know my weakness. Mimi, my weakness equal lyrics. Please, what I mean, it's like yeah. lyrics. If that's the situation, let me let me mm. have it like that. If it means we're going to move fast and we're going to create more. It's really fun to collaborate. Yeah. It's so much, it's been so much fun. Mm. Like my best friends never written a song before to make us this such a choir a room. They're like we're gonna write a song. Yeah. So I did the top line for the whole song. Top line means like the tune. Right? Okay. Na, 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 na. Oh okay. Na, 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 na. Yeah. Okay. I did all that for the whole song. Mm-hmm. Then we just sat down and just started oh. writing and bouncing off ideas of each other. Yeah. And you finish the song so fast, I'm like, what the hell have I been doing? Right? You can finish a song in one sitting. Yeah. Quickly, quickly like that. To a nice okay. story. Now for, for those people <laughs> out there who don't know, personally I know. Oh yeah, I'm just joking, I don't know. What's the difference between harmony and melody? Melody is the song the way you sing it. Happy birthday to you. That's melody. Happy birthday. That's the, the song, the tune that the, the artist tune, made. Okay. Uh-huh. That's the melody. Okay. Harmony is like what someone else can sing so that it can go with the melody in like oh, a cute way. It's so, like alto, soprano. Yeah. Blah, blah. Mary, sing. Happy birthday to you. Sing it. Let's go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. So that's, so that's harmony. melody. That's the melody. This, this is harmony. harmony. Yeah. Ah, you get it? Yeah. At my very big age, at your very big age, because 
I definitely knew <laughs> the difference between it. <laughs> oh, so that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've never really yeah. known the difference between the two. But I like that example. I Imagine having a friend who's like also like a singer. Um, Literally so cool. I mean, I have a friend who's a singer. Wait, no, we are going to do that again. <laughs> Guys, I promise you, I didn't force her to do that. <laughs> I, I promise you, I have did. A gun yeah, it, it was well. We're not gonna get into the depths of that because I might go missing. Hi guys, it's Nikita Kering here. I just did an interview at Control Z Tribe, and they are on the road to 100k subscribers. So please be sure to subscribe, like all the content, and follow them everywhere. Cheers.